Good morning, crafters, and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm Georgia, and so happy that you're with us today. We have a terrific show for you planned. We also have a PDF template that we're going to give you, but more about that later. I want to remind you that Maudie, my sister, is over in the chat room. We go on this crafting journey together and have so much fun. So take a moment and talk to her, chat with her. Let her know how you're doing, where you're from. Uh, we would certainly appreciate that. We know that we have a couple people on. Hey, Patricia, good morning. We also have people that join us over on Facebook. So we broadcast to YouTube and Facebook. So uh, that is great. Maddie just said we are live. So we are so happy to be here today. We are going to be working with stencils. Now, actually, we're going to be working with dyes that we turn into stencils. And you might say, why do you do that? Why are you turning your dyes into stencils? Well, several reasons. One is when you have a die like this, here's the dies that we're going to be working with. We love these dies. These are called split card texture dies. So there's a couple things you can do with these dies. You can actually cut them into the paper, right? So you can cut them into the top of your card. You can also cut this out and just cut around it and you can lay it on top of your card in a color. But you can't really coordinate a bunch of colors. And today that's why we're taking this die and turning it into a stencil because we wanted to use our blends and we wanted to coordinate some colors to really make our cards pop. So, hey Hilda, yay Stella, so happy you're here. So that's what we're going to be working with today and we are so excited to share that with you. Now let's see what else. Uh, remember, all of July is all about our gratitude gifts and our surprise patrol. So the way we uh, randomly select someone is we look at the likes, the shares, the comments, and we randomly select from that. We're going to randomly select someone to win our gratitude gift at the end of our first card, and then we're going to select someone else at the end. <clears throat> so go ahead, chat up a storm. <laughs> we really appreciate that. So I say, let's go ahead and head down to the crafting table and let's get started. Hey, Pat, I see you there. So happy that you're with us. Now, let me show you the card that we're talking about. Look at this. Do you see how we have coordinated these colors? We've done an ombre effect, right? We've shaded and then we brought in some light and we use those colors over here. You could never do that if you just use the die. All you can do is cut into the card or lay it on the card. So we really love this. And when you use this die to cut out a stencil, it's very strong so you don't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and get busy with our first card. Now our first card, we're going to create a jar with some sunflowers. You know I love sunflowers, right? Yay! And I want to invite you, if you haven't already signed up for our newsletter, go over to creativemomentsbyg.com, sign up. I have some terrific breaking news on the paper pumpkin. Oh, it's going to be so nice. I'm actually buying a couple extra because I'm going to love it so much. So let's bring in our mat that we are actually going to do the blending on. And you can see I've simply cut this to fit as a second mat. So it is five by three and three fourths. And remember, you can sit back and relax and enjoy this video, this live video. And then you can head over to our website and it'll have all the dimensions for you so you don't have to worry about that. Hey, Susan. Welcome, welcome. So happy that you're here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is look at this. We have used this, right? Boy, have we used this one. Now, we're going to put a little bit of repositional tape, and that's a great tip. You can, if you want to, tape the outside, but I really don't want to hinder this at all. I want to get a nice, clean little border. So I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of repositional tape right here on this side, 
so that it holds it down. And I will say, this is kind of a messy, messy technique for Technique Tuesday. We want to welcome everyone to Technique Tuesday. So what you probably want to do is grab you a post-it note. And that way you won't maybe get it quite as messy when you're trying to hold it. So, the first color I'm going to take, we have our two colors, Cajun Craze and Pale Papaya. I'm going to go ahead and let's start with Pale Papaya down here at the very bottom. Now, you want to make sure that you have cleaned your blending brush, right? So you can use a scrubber pad and just scrub it because if this is a light color and if you haven't cleaned it really well, it's just going to get muddy, right? And we don't want that. So let's just go ahead and start. And we're going to make two cards today, very different cards, but I think you're really going to like them. Okay, so just making sure that that is clean and we'll just very lightly go over it because I really want there to be an ombre effect. And so I'm just going to very lightly, and I may have to go over it a little more, but we're just going to color that in. And then I'm going to come in with the, the darker color. And there we have it. Okay, I can see it starting to take shape. And remember, the closer you get your finger to this head right here, the heavier you're going to be. So you also have more control over it. So just, just remember that. Don't go too heavy. Even though we have our finger up there, I'm trying to control it. Okay, so I'm going to close that. And now I'm going to bring in my Cajun Craze to give it that ombre effect. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my scrubber and just clean it. Make sure it's cleaned really well. Okay. Boy, I've used my scrubber, haven't I? Is that what you use to clean your blending brushes? Scrubber? Okay, so now let's just go over. Okay, we can see. So I'm just going to go over very lightly. Because you can always add more, right? But you can't take it off. So let's just keep adding. We absolutely love this stencil. And as you can see, this stencil really is sturdy. So it's going to last. And I'm going to be able to keep it in my little toolbox, right? Now, if this light right here doesn't come out as light, I may bring in some Daffodil Delight because I don't see that it's really shining up the way I want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and just get that. And I think I will bring in some... Just get some... I think a lighter yellow. So let's clean this off because I want it a little more vibrant than that. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that off. Okay. And bring in that Daffodil Delight. And let's see if we can't brighten this up just a little bit. Really make sure that it's off. Okay, there we go. And just kind of bring it in down here. And that'll brighten it up a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to have the great reveal. Yes, okay. Now remember I said that I have that PDF. It, you're really going to like this PDF, and it is free. So let's do the great reveal. Look at that. Now that may not be dark enough. You know, you might decide, I want to make it a little darker. You can always put it right back on. I think I want mine a little darker. So I'm going to line it up, see if I can line it up. And it's super easy just to reline it. Push it back down. And I'm going to make that a little darker. So let's go ahead and use our post-it note so that we don't get our fingers too crazy and really come in with it just a little more. I want some more color. You know I like vibrant colors. Now let's just move that paper up here 
and really get it in those crevices. Okay. Good morning, Darlene. So happy that you've joined us. We are busy creating our stencils. Oh, yes. Look at that. So much prettier. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to kind of put that to the side because we're going to stamp our jar and our sunflowers. And we, because we're going to use blends, we're going to go ahead and use early espresso. And it won't bleed, so that's really nice. So let's just go ahead. And we have a punch for this, so that makes it really nice. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Now we're going to come in with our espresso again for our sunflowers. And we are going to use our blends. Now, look how pretty that is. Because we want this to look translucent and like the water, we're going to go ahead and use light pool party. And we're just going to color it on the side and we're going to bring in our color lifter so that we can lift some of the color right there in the middle. So go ahead and just where the water might start, we're just going to go ahead and put it just like this down at the bottom. And then we're going to come in with our lifter and get rid of some of that water. So there we have it. <coughs> And now, because this is alcohol-based, it will lift that color, and we'll just color over it right in the middle. And as it dries, it's going to lift that color, so it won't be quite as dark. So, that's going to be really nice, make it look more realistic. And as that dries, we're going to bring in our stems to go ahead and put right here. Now on our stems, we need to go ahead and put them right to the bottom and they're going to go right to the top of that lid. So let's go ahead and use Garden Green for that. And this creates a, such a pretty card. Now stay with us because we have two cards to show you at the end that you can recreate. If you're kind of wondering, oh, well, I don't know what colors to use you can use the colors that we have because we feel that they turned out pretty well. This Cajun craze, uh, I think, turned out really great with the pale papaya. Now, the stems are not colored in, so we're gonna go ahead and bring in our old olive and we're going to color those. You wanna make sure you use the thin brush nib, right, the thin nib. And just go ahead and kind of go down Find your stems and color them in. You want to make sure and not use the brush nib though because it's too big. And we're just tracing over that. Okay. And you can tell where the, the color lifter has taken that color out right here so that it looks more translucent. And now we're simply going to bring in a couple colors for our sunflowers. We have light mango, dark mango, and pumpkin pie. So we're just going to very quickly go over the middle part of the sunflowers. And then we will bring in that mango melody. This is a very easy, quick coloring. I know a lot of people don't like to color. I, I like it. I'm always so impressed with the blends and how they color. And, and they just do all the work for you, I think. <laughs> okay. Oh, yes. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to bring in the a Light Mango Melody. And I'm going to go ahead and use that brush nib. And just kind of go over all the petals. And you can see that it really, when you go over that pumpkin pie just a little bit, it lightens it up so you don't have to worry about it. So pretty. And I like to turn my paper instead of trying to turn my wrist. I don't know if that's the tip that y'all do. If you, if you turn your wrist or if you turn your paper. I like to go ahead and just turn the paper though. It's easier for me. 
and I'm just gonna look at the kite glow. I need to save the purchase for the blends, which I don't have yet. Oh, love these blends. Love the blends. And they are so juicy. Oh my goodness. I have a, a bunch of other blends and you know from other companies, Spectrum Noir and things like that, but I really do like these blends. Very juicy. And it's funny, Maudie always teases me because she says, okay, I'm not going to use the brush because I know you like it. And that's the first thing that always goes on our blends because I forget to turn it sideways. You always want to turn your brush nib sideways and don't do it straight down because that will hurt it. So just kind of turn it to the side. Now look at that pumpkin pie with that light with that light mango melody. So pretty. And now we're just going to bring in some green for our leaves and get those colored. And let's see. Um, we are using the sentiments from Charming Sentiments. Now, I'm going to give you a little hint. The PDF has to do with that stamp set. And when I show you that stamp set, you're going to say, oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Because it is pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just do a little bit of green there. And let's see. Go ahead and pick up some more yellow. I want that to be yellow. Okay. And I think I'm going to have this one be pure pumpkin pie. Look how pretty that is. I am so excited about the paper pumpkin. Oh my goodness. And all the information is in our newsletter. So if you, I have it signed up, make sure you do that. Also, if you haven't signed up for our Pinterest, we are over on, we're Pinterest. We have... Instagram too. So we are very excited about what we're doing. Now I'm going to get the bronze to color the inside of our sunflower. Uh, and I'm just going to get this colored. Now this does not have a dye. So Maudi is going to fussy cut it for me. And we are going to start building our card. I wish they would make it a bundle for blends per color groupings. Oh, that's a great idea, Glow. Yeah, I love that idea. Now look at the cards that we have. We went ahead and we cut a top fold card. Now this top fold is uh, 11 by Let's see. <laughs> I think it's 11 by 4 and a fourth scored at 5 and a half. Yeah. So there you go. That's what your base card is going to look like. And then we brought in this Mango Melody. So look how beautiful that is. That's really going to make this pop when you put it on. So let's go ahead and lay down our first mat. And then we are going to just decorate the inside of our mat and get that done before we finish this outside of our card. Now let's just put that to the side and let's just go ahead and see what we could stamp just a little bit. Let's just stamp a little bit of our sunflowers. Just a little bit right here in the corner. Look at that. So pretty. Love that. Now, we can go ahead and glue down this beautiful ombre decoration, right? Look at that. I just love the ombre color. And you could never have created this with just the stencil. I mean, with just the dye, right? Because you're only going to have one color. So that's why you might have some fantastic dyes that you want to go ahead and um, turn into stencils, right? Now we need to color this just a little bit more. I'm going to put a little bit of green right here for our leaves. Maudie went ahead and cut that out for me. Thank you, sis. Save the day. 
<laughs> so I didn't have to cut it out. And I'm going to put just a little bit of yellow right here just to go up. Oh, loving this. Now, the next thing you need to do is bring in your punch and punch out this jar. So you just put it right here. And let's see. I wonder if there's something stuck there, huh? Okay. And you know, sometimes you might have cut it too short, and that's okay because what do you do? Another tip take your post it note, create a little handle, and then just stick it in. So now we can put it exactly where we need it and hold it there and simply stamp it and simply punch it. Okay, hang on. Let's get that really held good. And there we go. And just punch. And now we have our jar. Okay. So now we have to see where are we going to put it. We're going to put it about right here and we're going to set it up on dimensionals. And our look at our beautiful flowers. They're going to go right here. And then we're going to have a sentiment right here to the side. I just love sunflowers. Love, love them. That's why they're part of our name. <laughs> Creative Moments by G has a sunflower on it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this up. And we even tied a ribbon uh, Okay, so we're going to go ahead and just put this right here. Put it down. And we're going to glue this one right on top. Oh, look how pretty that is. So we just need a little bit of glue right here. And you can see how that water really lightened up right in the center of the jar. So there we have that. And now we have created a cute little ribbon because look at that. That really adds to it, right? So we need to go ahead and use our glue dots. And you can just open them up. That's another tip if you haven't done that. Just tie a little ribbon around it so that it doesn't, you don't lose that. We're going to just take our little poke tool. Take your pick tool. Put this on the back. Right like that. And then just simply push it down. And there we have that. And now we just need to add our sentiment. And we went ahead and we cut out a sentiment, sending hugs. And we're simply going to set that up right here on a couple dimensionals. We do love to set things up. We just think it really makes it pop. Can we order refills for August Paper Pumpkin? Not yet. First, they have to... They have to come out first, so yeah, not yet. I'm excited. I don't know if I said July or not, but I meant August. You have until August 10th to buy this one. Oh, and all the all the all the information is over on our newsletter. So, look at that. Here's the front of our card, 3D effect. We have everything sitting up, and now we just need to put this right here. And you can color that. We'll just color that up very quickly. Now this next card that we're gonna create, we're actually using some uh, DSP. Oh my goodness, so pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and just bring in a little bit of the pumpkin pie on the leaves and then just bring back in, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one, all pumpkin pie. See how quick it is? It's very easy. And then just very lightly go over with the Mango Melody. And you have the inside colored. Very easy. Okay, and now we're just going to bring in a little bit of the bronze just to go around the middle part. And there we have our first card. Okay, yay! Oh my goodness, now, let me see. Um, 
Okay, I am going to make our first selection for our gratitude gifts. Now remember, if you are selected, you need to send us a message. You can go to our Facebook, use Messenger, you can use our contact form, however you want. But we need your address and we uh, need that information. So yay! Hey Carol, welcome! So happy you're here! Okay, we're just going to let it take control and do its thing. And our first winner is Darlene May. Yay, Darlene! Congratulations! Congratulations. Let me see where is the applause. There's the applause. <laughs> Remember to go ahead and send us your mailing address so we can get that in the mail. Now, I want to take just a moment and let's see. Let's see if I can get that off. Before we start on our new card, our second card, next week our videos will be videos and they will not be lives. But what we're going to do is we're still going to keep up our gratitude gifts for next week, next Tuesday, Thursday. So watch those videos, leave comments, like and share. And then Friday the 22nd, which by the way is somebody's birthday. I won't tell you who. Um, somebody that I go on this crafting journey with. Woohoo! <laughs> we will post underneath the video who was selected and you'll need to send us your mailing address. So that's next week. They're going to be videos, not lives, but we will put them up at 10 o'clock on Tuesday and Thursday at 7 o'clock. So make sure that you like, share, and comment even though they won't be lives. Yay! So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get started on our second card. Okay, so let me see here. Um, I'm going to do that and that. Oops, let's see what's going on. Let me do that, that, and that. There we go. Okay, so we're going to put this aside. Now let me show you. I told you that we're going to use this charming sentiment. And I want to show you the PDF that will be listed under this video that you can get that I think is really going to help you. When you open this up and you're like, oh my gosh, look at all those dies that go with these wonderful sentiments. Well, when we were playing with it, we were kind of like overwhelmed, right? Well, we created this template and we made a copy of all the dies and then we went back in and we stamped the stamp in it. So you're gonna be able to get this. You can get it underneath the video or Maudie will put it up at the end of the video in the chat room, the link, so that you can go get it. We hope that you like this. Just a little freebie to make your life easier, right? Your crafting life. <laughs> okay, so let me show you what we are using. Oh, this is the DSP that I told you about. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. We fussy cut this out to go on our card. We also took some cord and we're going to put this string behind those flowers and I'm going to show you how you get that effect in a little bit. And this time we're using the other die. We created a stencil with this one and oh, is it gorgeous. So let's go ahead and get our our card is just a normal card. It's eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a fourth. And we have our first mat. Now this time, we're only gonna put one mat down. So let's move that to the side and let me go ahead and get this lined up exactly where we need it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little bit of that removable tape just to hold it in place. You don't need much and just really get it right on the edge. Right on the edge of the card. Okay, right there. And look at the colors we are going to be blending. Talk about creating an ombre effect. We're gonna use Rich Razzleberry and Polished Pink. So let's bring in our blending brushes. Now we wanna make sure these are clean. I've only been using these on these colors, but I still want to go ahead and give it just a good swipe and with my scrubbing, 
just to make sure. So let's go ahead and get those cleaned off. And this time, I'm just gonna go ahead and start with our dark color. We're gonna bring in Rich Razzleberry. Oh, that is such a rich color. And why I like this, remember we talked about the coordinating colors. Well, when we cut this out, you can see that you have Rich Razzleberry in there. But we also have this polished pink. And so now we can create our very own ombre effect and be very happy with it. Now you can tell that's pretty dark, so I'm just gonna start light and just start swirling over. Now I want it a little darker on the edges, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm just gonna blend it out just a little bit. Oh, I love that color. Okay, now I'm going to bring in my polished pink and see what ombre effect we can get. Okay, very lightly, just start blending it. <clears throat> okay. I just think this is so pretty and what I like is I thought these might be very delicate, but they're not delicate. And so I really like that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in a little post-it note. Try to get some more. Okay, I just want a little bit down there. Just barely on the edges. And I'm just going to go back and forth. Now, let's see. I'm just going to peek just a little bit. See what it looks like. Is she already on? Oh, 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. The great reveal. <laughs> Look at those beautiful colors. I just love that. I love it. And it really picks up the colors of these flowers, right? So the next thing we need to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and get this laid down on our card. Look at that. And isn't it all about the color coordination? It's all about the color coordination. I mean, sometimes Maudie and I'll be working and we like the card, but we're like, you know, it's just not popping. But once you get the right colors, you just fall in love with it. We love this design. Okay, just press that down. And now the rest is easy, right? We just simply use the Awash and Beauty, did a little fussy cutting, and we are going to add this right here and we are going to set it up on dimensionals. And I'm gonna grab me some dimensionals real quick and just add that to the back. Let's see. And then I'm gonna also add just a little leaf underneath it just to make it a little fuller. Okay. Let's see, I'm just kind of looking at the comments. Great. Thank y'all so much for chatting with us. Makes it so much more fun. So let's just go ahead and think about this. We're gonna add this about right here. Look at that. And now this is a, kind of a little area that I think we need a little more. So I'm gonna go ahead and just maybe add that right there. We're just gonna lay that down. And you can see that this didn't take very long at all, especially when you do what? Use that DSP, right? Now, remember I told you about this. You probably have some ribbon that you can shred like this. And all we did was take your, take your pick tool, cut it off, and just open it up just like this. And that kind of frays the ends, and it makes it a little prettier, and it really stands out. So we're going to go ahead and just add some glue right here on the end. And then I'm just gonna stick it right under, just right there, just to 
create a little fuzzy little interest right and let's get that I'm gonna put that about right there and kind of push down and see doesn't that just create some interest I don't know just kind of adds to it and now we need our sentiment now this one is what I told you about we're gonna go ahead and we are going to stamp our sentiment right here and we're going to use rich razzleberry love love rich razzleberry where is my rich razzleberry hmm oh there it is going to stamp that and then I'm going to show you now if you had to look at this and go wow which one of these is going to match up to this? It might take you a minute, right? <laughs> well, not if you have this sheet of paper. You can very quickly see, oh, there's Beyond Grateful. I know exactly what it looks like. It looks like this. And so now you can simply go in, grab it, run it through your, your boss, and there you have it. You do not have to worry about it and waste your time trying to find the die. So let's go ahead and just add this right to the front of our card. And I'm going to go ahead and just lay it down instead of put it up because I want the flowers to be the focal point. So let's just go ahead. Now you could always add some rhinestones, some gems on there if you wanted to. And we are going to add our inside sentiment and then we will show you and we will have our next drawing and our other word we're just going to put thank you right here at the bottom and once again we're going to use our rich razzleberry so we're beyond grateful thank you look how pretty that looks Okay, so let me bring these out, get all this mess. I really didn't mess up my hands too much. Nor <laughs> Normally I am creating a mess, oh my goodness, but it didn't do that this time, I don't know why. So uh, I personally love this card the best. I, I love that one, that's my favorite. But I do love sunflowers, right? So what are you gonna do? I love the sunflowers. <laughs> Now, here's the one that I showed you. This allowed us to do our ombre effect, right? And get the colors that we wanted to use and not just cut into the card. Now, look at this one. Here's another card that we made. We used that beautiful um, Wisteria Wishes and we created our own ombre. Now, what's interesting about this card is we actually use the stencil on some DSP because we wanted some leaves and and some variation so this is actually DSP and we used our stencil on top of it but we really like the way it turned out and then we stamped the inside and then finally uh everybody loves sending smiles right we love this flower and once again we used our ombre effect to do our coloring and our stencils and then we colored the inside so here is our solution to not having all the stencils you want take your dies and just uh, create your own stencil now somebody said what was the ribbon the ribbon that we used was and is called braided linen trim it's a very small ribbon but it really does spread out very well Okay, you missed where the first stamp set came from. The first stamp set came from Jar of Flowers, Diana. So hope that helps you. So now let's have another drawing for another gratitude gift. Oh my goodness. Hey, Anne, I didn't see you there. So happy that you joined us. I wasn't paying attention. Karen, oh my goodness. So happy everybody's here today. Now remember, next Thursday we'll be here at 7 p.m. We have some more interesting 
hopefully more inspirations to share with you. And so we are just going to select someone. Oh, Pat, you make it look easy. <laughs> Pat, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Ah. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I'm trying to get that off. I don't know why that's not getting off. Let's see. Oh, well. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. We hope you join us Thursday. Remember to sign up for our newsletter. And also check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook. Uh, go out and make it a fantastic week. And we will see you Thursday night at 7. Bye-bye, everybody.